Hey guys, Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. Every single day at the close, I go over the possible trading setups for all the earnings trades. Today we have Netflix after the close. So I'm looking at Netflix right here. So I'm going to go over the HimCrivet trading plan for Netflix, NFLX. And I'm going to talk about four different ways to trade this. Okay, four different ways to trade this. And I do have a trade on right now. First thing I always look at is the historical movement. How much does the stock has mo moved historically over the last eight quarters? So let's bring up Netflix. And it's moved a lot historically, but we got to take this in consideration. This was when the stock was, you know, a fraction of the price that it's currently trading right now. Today, it's implying, you know, a 15% move. Last time it moved 42.2%. Be shocked to see if it moves that much. 11.9%, 25%. 13.9%, uh, 22.1, negative 34.9, negative 5.2, and negative 9%. So the implied movement is going to be in Netflix. So I look at the at the money straddle. I can look at the 175 straddle which is the at the money call and the at the money put, it's implying a 15.2% move. 15.2% move. Okay. 175 straddle is priced at um, $26. $26. Okay. So it's implying a $26 move or 15%. $26 move here. I'm going to have two quote unquote measured move targets. I'm going to have an upside measure move target and I'm going to have a downside measure move target. My upside measure move target is going to be 175 plus to 26, which is going to be 201. Downside measure move target, basically 200 or 150. Basically 200 or 150. So my upside measure move target, 175 plus to 26, which is 201. And I have a downside measure move target of 175 minus 26, which is equal to 149. Okay, so I have two measured move targets. Does the chart look bullish or bearish? It looks bullish on all matrices, but it could have this resistance at 200. Okay, 200 could find resistance. Then I'm going to set up possible trade setups. Okay, how do I want to take a trade? I'm going to talk about four different ways to trade Netflix for earnings. One's going to be buying movement, one's going to be selling movement, one's going to be bullish, and one's going to be bearish, okay? I got to think, you know, if I had it to choose, do I, you know, the first thing I always think about, is this stock going to move the, the measured move, okay? Is it going to move $26? Um, and it's moved a lot, but you got to take in consideration, it moved a lot when the stock was a much lower dollar amount. When the stock gets to this level, it doesn't really move as much, okay? It doesn't move as much. So I'm going to look at four possible ways to look at Netflix for earnings. Does anybody have any trades on right now they want to share, or do they not? Okay, so four ways to play it. One would be, number one would be buying movement. If I just said, hey, you know what, I think the stock is going to move, what could I do? I could buy the at the money straddle, which is the at the money call, at the money put, which is $26. Okay. If I bought the at the money straddle, it's going to cost me $2,600 per one lot. In theory, anytime I buy call spreads, right, I have unlimited reward to the upside. So anytime I buy call spreads, I have unlimited reward. Number two, if I want to sell the movement, okay? And this is what I did. I did do this, and I tweeted about it on uh, Premium Twitter. If I wanted to sell the movement, what I did here, this is called an iron butterfly, okay? On this trade, what I did is I sold the 175 straddle, and then I bought the 150 put and the 200 call strangle. Okay, this is the same 
same as selling 175 150 put spread and selling 175 200 call spread and i did this for 19 dollars and five cents okay very simply put i make money if the stock stays less than 19 dollars the less it moves the better for me okay between now and the rest of the week so in netflix i make money if the stock doesn't move at all so my risk on this trade which i did put on is going to be $595. My reward on this trade. I sold straddle, bought strangle. My reward is 1905. Okay. So this is the same thing. This is known as an iron butterfly. So entry to open and filled. I bought the 150 put, and this is in the weekly, 200 call, and I sold the 175 straddle. Or 1905 credit. Okay, I received a credit on this trade. This is known as an iron butterfly. I'm going to save this in the notes tab. So this is the fifth trade today, and I'm in this trade in Netflix. I need Netflix to move less than that than $19. If Netflix moves less than $19, I will make money on this trade. Okay, so this is known as an iron butterfly. I sold at the money straddle and I bought a strangle. I sold that the money straddle and I bought a strangle. Okay. Number three, if I was bullish, I don't think it has this move to the upside where it's just going to rage to the upside. Okay. So if I was bullish, let's bring up my option montage and see a possible trade I would want to put in. We have this measure move target up to $200, right? So I think the 185, 195 bull call spread, risking 300 to make, you know, risking 320 to make 680, I think would be a good trade. So this is what one James was talking about on Bloomberg today, and I think this is a good, you know, risk versus reward setup. Okay, if I was bullish, I would I would buy the 185, 195 bull call spread for. $3.20 debit. On this trade, I'd be risking $3.20. And my reward would be $6.80. And I'm going to have $6.80. Sorry about that. I'm going to have one break even on this trade. My break even on this trade is going to be $188.20. Okay. Trade number four, if I was bullish. Okay. So if you guys can think to yourself, you know, part of the best thing about trading is you can have so many different situations or so many different, you know, trades you'd want to make. You know, you can make a trade based on anything. Is the stock going to move? How much is it going to move? Is it going to move up? Is it going to go parabolic higher? Is it going to go up in a, you know, a degree angle? Like how much is it going to move, right? So trade number four would be bearish. And I'm going to put on this one too. If this stock starts to go down, it could really get smoked, right? So if I was bearish, Buying the 170, 150, 130 put butterfly. Let me see the price I can put this one on for. This is a put butterfly. The 170, 150, 130 put butterfly in Netflix. Always want to be selling the measured move target. So let me just add this. So let me hit option chain, option spread. So I want to buy the 170s, sell two of the 150s, and then buy one of the 130s. This is a put butterfly, a $20 put butterfly. I'd like to get around three and a half. It's five bucks. So that's only giving me a three to one, three to one reward to risk setup. Okay, it's only giving me a three to one reward to risk setup. Um, so I would maybe have to do something a little bit, a little bit. Uh, let's try try a different one here. How about the one seventy, one fifty five, one thirty, uh, one forty. So a fifteen dollar put butterfly. 170, 155, 140 put butterfly. I could get the 140s in here. Let's open the wrong one. 
This is a $15 put butterfly. I want to get something where I get five to one on my money at least. So this is a, I must have hit the wrong ones. So this is the 170, 155, 170, 155, 140 put butterfly. I want to get something where I'm setting up at least five to one. This is three dollars. So I can three dollars to make twelve. That's giving me a four to one. Let's try to roll it down a little bit more. Let's try to do a 160, 145, 130 put butterfly. The stock would really have to get smoked on this. Do 160, 145, 130 put butterfly. Another $15 put butterfly. This is two dollars and sixty cents. So I can't really find anything I like to do here. Let's try the 165, 145, 125 put butterfly. So I'm trying to set up a put fly right here. Um, I don't think the stock is going to rage to the upside. I don't think the stock is going to go rage to the upside. This is the 65, 45, 25. It's four dollars and seventy cents. So once again, it's giving me a four to one at reward to risk setup. Let's try to roll it down a little bit. How about the 60, 40, 20? 60, 40, then I have to add the 20s. So this is the 60, 40, 20 put butterfly. Hit add, okay. I'm gonna try to buy one of these for 380. Can I get it at 372? So I'm trying to bid one right now. I've not got filled. So I'm going to change this to the 60, 40, 20 put butterfly here. The 160, 140, 120 put butterfly for $3.70. I'm bidding this right now. I have not got filled for $3.70. My reward on this trade would be 1630. And my break-even points, I'm always going to have two break-even points on a put butterfly. It's going to be 123.70 and 156.30. Okay, so I'm looking for a put butterfly. This is in the weeklies. So entry to open, but not filled. Bidding the Netflix. April 160, 140, 120, put fly for 370. Okay, so I'm bidding a, put, bidding a put fly right now in Netflix. And these are possible trade setup for earnings for Netflix. I'm going to go up to, I'm going to go, I want to go up in price on this one, but I don't want to pay too much. I'm going to go up to 380, and if I don't get filled, I don't get filled. How about 375? Oh, it's at 369. I just got filled. So I got a Netflix put butterfly and an iron condor on. 375 I got filled. Such is life. So does anybody have any questions about this trade? This is four ways to trade Netflix for earnings. So I have a put butterfly and I have an iron butterfly. Yeah, I got a put butterfly, and then I have an iron butterfly. Yeah. So we on TV said get long, so I got short. This is Andrew Keen from KeenOnTheMarket.com. If you guys want to watch me trade all the unusual option activity, earnings, real-time, real money, all day long, shoot me an email. I'll get you into the live trading room. Andrew at KeenOnTheMarket.com. Thanks, guys, and I'll see everybody in the room soon.